Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy at your homes. I am your GK teacher, Ms. Fahim, and I welcome you all to your GK class. My dear students, as you already know, that we are on unit number 12 of your GK2 books, and the name of our unit is The Natural Environment and Resources. And today is its sixth lesson. So my dear students, before moving on towards the lesson, let's quickly recap what we did in lesson number five. So you have to answer a few questions. What are man-made resources? As we have differentiated between man-made and natural resources, so you have to tell me what are man-made resources? Any resource which is made by the man is a man-made resource. Very nice. So name some man-made products. Yes. Bread, chair, table, pencil, sugar, these are all man-made products. So my dear students, with this we will move forward towards a recap that as you have seen that on one side there are natural resources and on the other side you can see some man-made resources. So this is all natural and the other side is man-made. So my dear students, as you can see, you can see a sweater here. It is made up of wool. So what is its resource? Its resource is a sheep. Okay, so this, its resource is natural. Then you can see, see leather shoes. What is its resource? Its resource is animal skin. So. The shoes, leather shoes are made from the skin of animals. So its resource is again natural. And some other uh, things that you can see here is uh, the plastic that you use in every day. Everything is made from plastic, plastic boxes, your pencil box, your sharpener. These are made from plastic. So plastic is made from crude oil which is natural and which comes from under the ground. So its resources again, plastic ka resource jo hai, wo bhi natural hai. So all the man-made things are basically made from natural resources. So my dear students, let's quickly look at the student learning outcome from uh, to, for today, which is given on page number 85. Today we will recognize that people manufacture different things from natural resources to serve human needs. So jitni bhi human-made things hai, man-made things hai, वो हम अपनी नीड्स को फुलफिल करने के लिए अपनी जरूरियात को पूरा करने के लिए नेचुरल रिसोर्सेस का इस्तेमाल करते हुए बनाते हैं सो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स क्विकली लुक एट द इस्लामिक पर्सपेक्टिव इट इज गॉड हु मेड द अर्थ फॉर यू टू सेटल एंड द हेवन एज द कैनोपी ही डिजाइंड यू एंड परफेक्टेड योर डिजाइन एंड प्रोवाइडेड यू विद होल सम थिंग्स सच एज गॉड योर लॉर्ड सो ब्लेस्ड बी गॉड लॉर्ड ऑफ द वर्ल्ड सो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स हियर Allah Ta'ala jo hai, unho ne hume itni saari cheezo se, itni saari blessing se, nemto se nawaza hai. So, hume Allah Ta'ala ka be shumar shukar ada karna chahiye. Everything around you is a blessing of Allah Ta'ala. So, my dear student, with this note, we will move forward towards some pre-reading questions. So, tell me, does your mother bake cake for you? Aapki mother aapke liye cake banati hai? Banati hongi, definitely. So, which bakery item do you like the most? Aapko sab se adha kaun sa bakery item pasand hai? Biscuits, cakes, patties, sandwiches. What do you like the most? I like cakes. Very good. So, all these things are basically um, man-made, but their resource is natural. So now I ask you, request you to please open page number 91 in your books. I hope everybody has opened page number 91. Today we will do a very fun story. I am going to tell you a story which is in your book. It is the story of a biscuit. A biscuit is how it is क्या उसका ओरिजिन है और कैसे वो आपको मजेदार सा मीठा सा यमी सा बिस्किट मिलता है तो हम उसकी स्टोरी पढ़ेंगे यू कैन सी अ लॉट ऑफ पिक्चर्स ऑन योर स्क्रीन ये सारी पिक्चर्स जो है स्टेप्स हैं ऑफ मेकिंग द बिस्किट ओके नाउ यू हैव टू पुट योर फिंगर्स वेयर आई विल रीड वी यूज नेचुरल थिंग्स एंड प्रोसेस प्रोसेस देम टू मेक डिफरेंट प्रोडक्ट्स स्टोरी ऑफ अ बिस्किट 
I was a small piece of grain. One day, a farmer found me at his house. This is the farmer. He took me to the field and sowed me there. Then he put the grain inside the land. Farmer used to water me daily. Now he is watering the fields. When I grew up, he cut me down. When the crops were grown, he cut all the crops. I was sent to the flour mill. I was grinded into flour. My flour was then given to food factories. Now I request to move to page number 92. Bakers make the dough, cut me in different shapes and baked me. Now I am a delicious biscuit. Kids love to eat me. So my dear students, now you have just read about the story of a biscuit that first the farmer found a grain, he sowed it into the land and then he watered it, the crops grew, he cut them off, then he sent it to the mill where they were grinded and then the flour was sent to the bakery where the baker baked. He made the dough out of it and then he baked it and now the delicious biscuit is ready to eat. So again put your fingers where I'm, I will read. Likewise, many other natural products are also processed to fulfill human needs. For example, we make leather from animal skin, furniture from wood and medicines from plants. We should plant more trees to get more benefits and also treat animals with kindness. All these plants and animals make our life standard better. So my dear students here you can see that different products are made from natural resources. The clothes you are wearing they are made from cotton, the shoes that you wear uh, that are made from the uh, leather that comes from animal skin and the medicines that we eat which help us to get better when we are sick they come from the plants. So my dear students these all natural resources are extremely beneficial for us. These are very important for us. These are very important for us to make many things. But still, we must need to treat the animals with kindness and we must plant more and more trees so that we get more and more benefits with it. Okay? So my dear students, from here we will move forward towards the practice. So the practice is given on the same page. It is a supervised activity. Divide the class into two groups. Ask both groups to take a round of school. Assign a task to one group to make a list of natural things. They see and observe in school. The other group will make a list of man-made things present in school. Both groups will present their list in the classroom. So my dears, here the teacher will divide you into two groups, group A and group B. You can also conduct, conduct this activity at your homes. You can take a round at your home and you can make two lists, man-made and natural. Anything that you found and you have to um, make two columns, one with man-made heading and the other with natural heading. Okay, And then categorize them. The list is here, you can see them on the screen. So group A will made and find all the man-made products in their school or at their homes. And group B will find all the natural products or the things they find in their school. And if you're watching me at your homes, then at your home. Okay, so this is extre extremely easy and a very easy task. Then you have to show it to your class fellows that this, these are our findings. So from here, we will move forward towards the worksheet. Your teacher will provide you with this worksheet in print form. You will write down your name and your class. And here you can see the worksheet. Where stuff comes from. Okay? 
draw the lines between each item to tell where it comes from i will do the first one for you you will do rest by yourself so a sweater where does it come from it is a wool sweater so the wool comes from the sheep so this is how you will join the uh, columns to two columns one side is man made and the other is natural so this is how you will do the rest of the worksheet it is also related to what we have just read today okay so pause the video and complete your worksheet from here we will move forward towards your evaluation so you have to tell me question number 17 on your screens why do human beings make products from natural resources human beings make the natural uh, products from natural resources to fulfill their needs very nice now question number 18 share the steps to make biscuits very easy number one count with me do it with me yes number one grain you need a grain number two you will sow it into the ground number three water it daily number four it will grow and you will cut it off then number five you will send it to the mill number six it will be grounded it will be grounded into flour number seven it will send to the baker where baker will make dough out of it then he will bake biscuits from it and then you will get yummy biscuits so these are the nine steps of making yummy biscuits very nice so from here we will move forward towards your homework for today so your homework for today is independent activity number three collect pictures of any of your five man-made things write down the natural resources from which they are made complete the table below so you have to collect five things and you have to also tell their natural resource for example let me write the first one for you chair so its natural resource is wood so this is how you will do the rest of the activity so uh, home activity number six is your next homework you have read the story of biscuits now find out how does carpenter make furniture make the process with the help of pictures or on your scrapbook aapne story of biscuit padhi hai now you have to make a story of how the carpenter makes furniture i will help you out a little with the pictures so that you can write a story the woodcutter will cut the wood you can see him cutting the wood then it will send to the he will send the wood to the furniture maker here he will cut the wood into pieces and then he will shape it into different types of furniture here you can see different pieces or the parts of the furniture and that's how he will make the furniture so you have to write the story and you have to also paste the pictures so the wrap up of the lesson is people process natural processes uh, resources to make different products to fulfill their needs so hum log jo hain insaan jo hain wo different resources use karte hue natural resources ko use karte hue hum man made material banate hain taaki hum apni zaruriyat ko pura kar sake aur hum unse khub fayda utha sake so my dear students i hope you have thoroughly enjoyed the lesson complete your homework complete all your tasks and keep everybody around you safe have a good day and allah hafiz